All right, we got 11 in the server. As far as the uh, as far as the YouTube um, as far as the YouTube upload goes, I'll start it here. Welcome to probably the first ever like coverage of the newcomer div as far as TFTV is concerned, because I'm pretty sure we didn't cover anything lower than like IM last season, and I definitely didn't cover anything that uh, was newcomer last season. So here we are. We got newcomer gamers here. We got uh, C-SPAN in blue versus Verve in red. I really don't know much about these teams, except that Blue is uh, one of the newbie mix team drive teams, which is awesome. Um, as someone that has, you know, helped out with that for a couple seasons in the past, it's a it's a really great experience. Um, and I'm sure Jag is doing a great job with his boys. I think he's trying to come and mumble a little bit later, or now. Um, but yeah, like... I, I'm, uh, I'm excited to see, um, you know, there's, I really don't know what to expect with these guys, because they are pretty much, you know, as their div suggests, new to the game for the most part, uh, so they're learning the ropes, but, you know, maybe little match jitters, some of them know they're on stream, I don't know about you guys, but the first time that I was ever casted and Slash was aware that I was casted, there was a little extra nerves on top of that. You gotta give the game to Florida Man. Yeah, I mean, he's, it's literally Florida Man. He plays TF2, he plays Demo. But yeah, j according to Jag's, uh, Jag's reports, he says his scouts and his med are the most, are the least experienced. Um, and he said their soldiers are, I gotta keep an eye on their soldiers. So, we'll see what happens here. This is the first of a double header I'm bringing you tonight. We got newcomer between these two teams, and then at 11, uh, I'm gonna be casting Rodney and the Stangers as they take on uh, Pudis von Epic. Hey, Terry. Yo, what's up, Jag? Why are there 11 people joining this server? Do you have a secret agent working amongst them? Uh, no, I'm not sure. I know the other team was just. I don't exactly know what's going on, but the uh, the other team that is not my team, the red guys, they were trying to ring someone, so I don't know if their roster is fully the way they want. Uh, and the guy they were trying to ring is like currently an amateur and has like 11,000 hours in the game and also a bunch of other formats, and it just looked like a really inappropriate ringer, so hmm. they decided not to uh, allow that. I mean, that's fair. Like, there's they that's the whole thing with RGL this season is that they changed it up. Um, so that you can't just ring and you can't, the first ringer still has to be approved basically so last season you could ring whoever technically they could have ring ring banny if they really wanted to obviously he would have disputed that but yeah um creation ask what are the drinking rules i'm not going to put the rules up but in general you're looking for big plays big flops like an uber charge drop or a pudis play back caps are fair game i'm just sipping on some wine as i will be throughout the night so I'm excited. I'm excited to see. Um, you've mentored uh, other team drive teams before, right, Jack? This isn't your first yes. rodeo. Yeah. No, I, I knew you and I had radios. done some. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so it's been like halfway through week two of the season. How are how how are your gamers? How are your gamers feeling? How are they growing? Uh, they're they're definitely improving compared to their first couple of games, but it's it's still really rough. I think you were already talking about this when I joined Mumble, but the scouts are have a lot of catching up to do. They're oftentimes not very effective, <laughs> mm -hmm. and you kind of have to when you're scout. You have to like show up every time, or you're useless. Um, what what can I say? Yeah, they're they're playing well. They're like really cool people. Like a lot of them are older. I think you know they try to group similar people together on teams, uh, and I yeah. think age is one of the the uh, categories they go by so a lot of these are like older folks uh well not <laughs> that makes it sound like they're geriatric but you know what i mean like in their 20s they're not like us yeah. no they're not like us <laughs> actual geriatrics all right all right so you know i don't know much of, again about either of these teams besides what you've told me about your own squad so we'll uh we'll see what's going on both of their week one matches were pretty convincing 5-0 victories so they just kind of slapped the other team and then just went on with their business so um, especially in a div like this where there's only eight matches, you know, every win counts as far as getting to playoffs. Um, I don't even remember how many teams are in, uh, Newcomer this season, but... I can check. I'm assuming pre -pro at least probably, like, over 20. Um, since I know the smaller divs were, uh... 
smaller divs probably had more teams. Um, but we got we got all twelve in the server. Looks like should be getting live shortly. We got about thirty five teams. Okay, in so that's probably a sixteen team playoff. So you know, again with only eight matches between all these teams, it's really going to come down to wins and rounds. Um, thankfully, RGL has decided to ditch the points for this season. And hopefully they don't ever bring it back. I'm not gonna give them ideas. Um, I mean, I know you got these are th these are your this is your squad. So I could I, I ask you for a prediction, but I think I know where you're gonna go. <laughs> um, no, I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you a prediction. Uh, and it's basically this: if the red team, who is uh the, not my team, if their scouts bring a lot of heat, we are probably going to lose. Mm -hmm. The C span is going to lose. So I think it really relies a lot on that. But okay. But you know, if it's if it's kind of even, then Florida Man and Hal and even Lear, like their fragging power output is massive for newcomer. Like they're very solid. Nice. So that's that's so what to watch for. You're, it's a conditional, basically. If the Verve Scouts are if they're ready to game, then you you're looking at an L. You're predicting an L. But if it's a lot more close, you're gonna let your projectiles do the bulk of the work for your team. Basically. Yeah, and and they very well might. Like Christian's asking game, you for a number, dude. You can't be. Uh, that's not how we do um, it here at Blanc TV. All right, I'm gonna. All right, <laughs> five to three, my guys. Win. Okay. See Span right. wins. Well, in the sake of uh, in, for the sake of conflict and making things interesting, I will go the other way and I will say Verve take it five. I'll, I'll do the five three. I'll mirror it, but just the other team. Don't want to just nice. don't want to just keep it bland and have two two players guessing the same exact thing. But not sure what we're waiting on. Um, but hopefully we'll get started soon. Um. I'm hoping this game won't take, it won't be the full the full nine yards here and go one hour plus golden cap because then that will uh, overrun into the double header I'm trying to do. But we'll, we'll see what happens. I'll be honest, it probably won't. Like, so what happens to teams at this level is like they're not even playing like the textbook flowchart TF2 yet. You know what I mean? Oh, yep. I'm gonna but we're gonna go live. We go. All right, we're gonna watch Florida Man. If I could find him. All right, here we go. A little slow in the first jump, but doesn't matter. But all right, we're headed to the first mid here. Florida man going choke. A little bit slow, but he's uh, pretty much tied with the enemy demo. Um, he's a little hurt, waiting for beam. Oh, he's really, really low. Needs the arrow. Um, doesn't get it, but it looks like Hal opens up the game with a pick on a, on a red soldier. Uh, players are kind of just, oh, there you go, the both soldiers, until the animal counters with two. The blue medic is stuck by himself in choke, so he's just going to have to run unholy Houdini. He's got a scout, so, you know, click on scout, you go vroom, you run away. Uh, they are kind of splitting up a little bit, not building as well as they could be. But, um, yeah, it, it looked good at the start for C-SPAN. They had two early picks thanks to their soldiers, but the, the animal, the verve demo, just retaliated quickly with two kills of his own, and they had better position, and just uh, won the mid from there. Um, since the blue medic lived, we're going to be staring at a even uber situation. Okay, I got it, Drag. Gotcha. Um, so we're going to see how uh, Verve elects to break this stalemate here. Uh, David Redface is the Red's Roamer, it looks like, based on where he's positioning himself. He is not really healthy though, so maybe I'd like to see him get buffed before he sacks, if he is the one in fact going. Blue has already set up the gun. Chainsaw Ninja on the Engineer. Um, looks like, yeah, Red is just peeking and prodding. Uh, they actually killed the Heavy? Not the sure Red how The Red Devil just walked in. He <laughs> just walked in on the right and killed the Heavy. Oh, and then they take an Uber off of the Heavy pick. <gasps> Oh no, and then the blue medic drops. That's a disaster for them. It's going to be really tough for them to hold this point. And that's just going to be just a quick one-two. You get the heavy, you walk forward, you get the drop, and you cap the point. And that's 1-0 for Verb. A little too much uh, milking there from Harley. That's mm. unfortunate. I forgot to update the scoreboard, but we'll do that next mid. Uh, let's see where the red demo's going. The animal kind of popping off so far. He's got 12 points already, though some of them are undoubtedly caps. Um, not really getting beamed. Okay, now he's getting beamed. He's trying to walk forward, trying to shoot spam pills at the soldiers. Uh, not a lot of commitment from either side right now. Both players just kind of, both teams just feeling themselves out. Uh, the health on blue is actually so much worse, though. Um, 
But again, no one is committed. Uh, here comes this first soldier. He flies in, does a lot of damage, but again, no kills. Spunky manages to get the frag first, but the animal dies in retaliation. Red is kind of caught in an awkward position by Valley, except no, the frags are coming in. David Redface is trying to get on top of this medic. Never mind, his scouts come in. They clean up Florida Man, and that's another mid win for Red. Lair and Hal just took a ton of damage at a certain point, and so they just couldn't do anything aggressive. Yeah, they had to. They, were, they had to wait so long because like all the health from Blue was really, really bad. Um, just and then when Hal went forward with the soldier, he, it was like a solo played by him. Like the rest of his team wasn't ready to follow up. Yep. So they got the heavy out on C-SPAN. Uh, just the heavy for now. Uh, no gun. Probably too late for that anyway. We're gonna find. Oh, they got a pyro though. Um, on the right side, if you're speaking from the defenders. Uh, the animal was slow rolling out or something, so he's just getting into lobby now. The team's waiting for him to get ready to push. I'm going to keep my cam on him as they walk forward. They see the pyro already. The pyro is actually only 40 health, um, but they did a good amount of spam. Uh, Hal goes down on the flank, probably peaking lobby or something like that, I imagine. Yeah, he was peaking top left. They're actually taking a really long time with this push. They should know. They still have ad. Uh, the blue medic died very late on mid. Uh, looks like they're getting ready to go left. Spunky and the animal peeking left. Okay, yeah, here we go. They use, but the blue medic's at 75%. Staying in spawn. I like this decision, but they have to get out and contest the point. The soldiers are bombing in. The heavy's still alive, actually, so this should be a potential hold for blue. And yeah, all their plays have crashed to the point. Lear gets two. Florida man picks up one. And that's going to be a successful defense. Uh, Fuzzy and his medic, Holiday, are going to be able to skedaddle out of there. Um, but that's a good hold by blue. And they're going to look to retake second here. You're going to notice this, this a lot, where they take forever to do stuff to the point where the enemy team oftentimes just ends up getting over. Mm -hmm. And they don't realize it, how long they're taking. Yeah, but I mean, again, these guys are, you know, inexperienced. They're learning the game. So as they continue to progress throughout the season, you know, that speed will pick up. Um, oh, yeah, it's legit newcomer. <laughs> mm -hmm. So now Blue has serious Uber ad. They're going to lose the scout on the flank, it looks like. Um, and Spunky actually picks up two. That's two flanks, two flank players for him. Looks like Blue's going to have to cancel any aggression they had. Uh, down two, and the Ubers are going to even out here. David Redface has walked through Cafe. He's seen the Blue team completely abandoning the post here. Oh, gets piped by Florida Man. Is able to survive thanks to shutter doors. But, yeah, we're going to be staring at an even Uber situation. Last time we were here, uh, Unholy Houdini dropped an Uber. Very unfortunate. So we're gonna see what they what they do this time. Um, they are still up one, but Hal just respawning now. Heavy's up again by uh, Chainsaw Ninja. Looks like he's their uh, designated one of their designated off classer boys. As uh, Mango goes down, I don't even know how, if that's how you're supposed to say it, yeah, but that's what I assume because it is French, which is also the wine them drinking. Anyway, here comes actually they use in off the player trade, um, but the Pudis. Pudis cam. I'm not on the Pudis cam. Um, but this blue Uber is actually a lot better. They ha ended up with way more health post, and uh, they're going to keep the pyro and the heavy. Uh, their demo demo's down. We're going to see. Are they going to decide to push off of it? It doesn't look like it. Huh? No, they they're are. peeking they're and prodding. Low. Yeah, there they go. There I just they want go. to point out the heavy got an achievement from the Oh, yes. There, so. That's what we love to see, ladies and gentlemen. Um, Hal jumps in. I'm um, not sure if that was just like a sack play or what, because his team didn't really follow him up. But nonetheless, looks like we're just going to retreat. Both medics survived during the trade. We're going to be even Ubers here. Um, that is something Hal does sometimes. So just say, just leave me. I'm going to go sack. So. Uh, Yaima's asking, is David on Roamer? Why is he on shotgun? I did not notice that. Um, but let's see, where is this man? I, I don't have the... my config doesn't have the thing where I can inspect, so I have no idea if he was on shotgun or not, but I guess uh, guess we're going to see. guess we're going to find out. At some out. point, one of the red soldiers definitely was on mid with a shotgun. Okay. Um, looks like Jackman went in for a sack, as I was not even watching his game. The he Chainsaw Ninja. I like this kid. He's playing heavy. He's showing no fear. 90 health. Has a sandwich. It's going to run back to resub. They tried the double sack. It didn't work out. And now They're starting to push. Yep, here goes blue. Ooh, 
Ooh, Florida man. Florida man and how? All right, they use Uber. They pick up three. Unfortunately, Red has safely tucked their medic away in the cafe. They're going to be able to retake the point. Unfortunately, uh, they're going to be staring at full disad here. Looked like a good bomb from their first soldier, and this time they followed it up. Florida man walked in behind him, grabbed two kills. Unfortunately, uh, Houdini got forced, and so they're going to be staring at this ad. Where will Red elect to push from? There. And will Blue be ready to not get murdered? Mm. The animal's These walking the forward. Questions. He's walking through choke. He sees a scout. He's He sees the team, basically. He sees that they're sitting really, really far back. They could take this slow and just walk in through choke or to the left. There's like, I mean, he has, he has eyes on pretty much everybody. Oh no, Houdini died. What? Jackman snuck in somewhere. Was that an air arrow from Holiday as well? Sta keeping themselves alive. Blue is throwing players at red, trying to get the force to no avail. Florida man goes down. And uh, this looks, this doesn't look good here as far as Blue's chances of defending. Uh, and then a third player goes down as well. Hal is getting pushed by Fuzz, so he's going to be able to survive for now. Survive as the red uber comes in. They're just plowing forward, trying to get on top of this heavy. This heavy's taking a huge punishment, though, and he gets a kill as well. Is this another defense for blue? The Pudis? Oh, shotgun Jackman was in. No, they're not oh. looking at the point. It started yeah, off, it started off okay, but it didn't, uh, didn't quite work out at the end there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, f I'm gonna find one here. I'm gonna have blue soldiers. I'll look at, I'll look at Lear here. We're gonna see what they'd like to do on these mids. Last time I they just took a lot of damage. Is the pocket, so. Okay. All right, so Lear through choke. Probably should grab an arrow from his medic if possible. Is electing to just bomb up top above cafe. Kind of the same mid as last time. Oh, yeah, exactly the same mid as last time. Passive for the start, but then blue just takes too much damage. They lose one, and then Holiday arrows down Lear. And uh, it's, it's looking rough. Blue's got to try and turn tail and leave. Thankfully, we have scout speed in this game. Hmm. So, oh, wait, but they split up. Oh, no. A tragic mistake. Is it going to cost them? Spunky's on top of this med. Grabs the pick. Oh, no. Probably just... Um, What's the word? Miscommunicated where they wanted to leave, and then Houdini got was alone, got caught by the scout. And now Holiday's coming up on full Uber. We could be looking at halftime here. Ooh, there's a floor, cone trap from Florida Man. We'll see if that catches anybody here. But Chainsaw Ninja on his favorite class. Florida's copying my techniques. <laughs> He's learning. That's what we like to see. All right, um, Red is kind of, yep, yeah, Red's popped in. Oh my god, Florida, man! He doesn't need the pipe to the cone trap when he can just pipe two things with one. Now the pyro is also full and health. And now the cone trap. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so, great job from him, and just Holiday left alive. Dies to Hal, super late. Uh, not too late, it's on the same respawn. Uh, who do you need to go down during all that chaos? So, it's not the greatest thing for Blue, but they will be able to push out a last, retake two. Luckily, she's up with her uh, combo scout, so it can't be much better. Yeah, which it's actually, yeah, it's going to be the tiniest of ads for them. But uh, actually, Spunky, we have a spy, uh, spy cam, sniper cam, off class alert here. He's actually just sitting in spawn, so maybe, maybe not worth watching him right now as we uh, settle into a stalemate here. C span has about, you know, 12, 20% advantage. Uh, we'll see what they decide to do. But we'll be a, we're we're minutes away from anything for now. We're only coming up at fifty percent. Florida man spamming pipes. Gotta say I've I've liked the uh, the the blue defenses thus far. You know they've they've brought the heavy and the red team has definitely struggled to to handle it as efficiently as possible as you might say. But they are down two rounds. Still plenty of time left in the game. We'll see if uh, anyone on blue was taking note of when that red medic spawned. They are positioned rather aggressively, uh, up forwards by Cafe. But I doubt they do anything with this. Uh, and especially not with Hal going down there. Um, and Mango goes down super, super low as well. There's a red soldier in on top of Houdini, giving him the jukes. Oh, wait, but they get popped at the very end. Unfortunate timing there. Although Mango's on this demo in Cafe, the animal goes down. A little bit this is a caught. Disaster. Yeah, here comes this red Uber now. 
Shotgun from Jackman. Bringing back 2011 TF2. Oh, the sniper is actually alone in the valley and goes down, so it's scrappy fighting going on, but at the end of the day, Red has a medic, although this scout's trying to get in on top of the medic. Only does about 50 damage. And uh, Jackman elsewhere has cleaned up most of the blue players. Yeah, you, you hate to see it, but the people that got killed by the cafe, cafe side, then they got all moved away from cafe, right? And that's when the soldier came in and for free and jumped on uh, on top of uh, Houdini. Right. Everything fell apart from there. Yep. But, 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 but. There's always a but. They're only staring at, like, 30 to sad. They do have the Pudis, and again, we've seen Red struggle to take down the Heavy, which will buy them a lot of time. And Florida Man has been just putting in the work on this last hold. Um... And also that pick will, you know, buy them some time as well. Make it two? How? He's, <laughs> he's, he's always he can top left there because he's better than most players mm. that he faces and he can really... Oh my god, oh, this soldier's going to die too. Clean. You see? Although they are hurt and they did lose Lear somewhere else on the flank. But again, yeah, look at this 25%. Their ad is dwindling. Um, Hal has pretty much just bought his team Uber with those picks. Um, so good shit from him. There is a player on the point. The animal went in for a sack? Very interesting. I mean, he did kill the heavy. Maybe that's what he wanted. <laughs> um, demo for heavy? Oh, there's no, still more pressure. Oh, there's actually a spy, too. Hal should have seen it. Um, he's just fo floating in behind the Uber. I'm going to go switch over to the spy cam now. Oh, I missed it. He dies. He fl oh, he's still alive, actually, but he's just flubbing all of his backstabs. And uh, that's going to be another failed last push out of red here. That was a really interesting decision. They threw their demo in, traded with the heavy, and then they walked in after it and Ubered. So maybe, maybe they wanted to Uber. Yeah, maybe they, they wanted the demo. Maybe wanted the Uber and went too fast or something. It's mm -hmm. possible. Keep an eye on him, this red spy who was yeah. I was gonna see if they forget about. Oh him. yeah, yeah, yeah. I was about to say. I thought he respawned on spy again, but yeah, he never died. So we'll see uh, if blue team is aware of this. We'll see if any of these guys are Highlander players. The animal goes down oh, again, gosh. so an early, a, a big demo, oh, you think it'll just be a back cap, you think Blue's gonna push out, and then the Spy's just gonna win them the round? Oh, the Spy just disguised as something, it's that's all gonna, Lear, if, that's if gonna Lear be gets a drink. Step, they're screwed. Yeah, but he's he's turning around, he's rotating, he's putting his head on a swivel, good shit from, here, from Lear, although Blue is very slow getting cap time on two, just getting it now. Smunky, I gotta keep my cam on Smunky. I'm obligated to. Here he goes. He's decloaked. He's going for the cap. Although the cap time on on second is just gonna win him that, and uh, he's actually still alive. I'm gonna. Oh my god. <laughs> Lear's trying his hardest, but he's not able to grab it. The spy's gonna be able to sneak away. 30 health. During all that, what happened? Holiday died, or they used super late because there are 30, 30 plus disad here. Uh, is red. Um, I mean, now I guess I gotta go back to the spy since. He could still do something. He's on mid. Um, he's cloaked back in through Valley. So if Lear has been communicating to his team... Oh, he just flashed there with the Cloak and Dagger. Um, yeah, the scout spot. The scout spot found him. him. Yeah. He, is he going to live again, though? He'll be able to hit him, though. Six, eight, <gasps> oh, he just... The pistol is so bad. And then Spunky sneaks away again. All right, I'm going to go off of his cam, I guess, for now. Uh, actually, I'm going to go I'll back keep, to I'll him. I'll keep tabs out. Okay, you keep tabs on him. Uh, I'm no, going to watch Jackman spam. All right, I'm, oh, Florida, all right, Florida, Florida, Florida man. You can't surprise Florida man. Um, huge advantage for uh, C-SPAN here. Fuzzy's hiding in cafe. Don't know if they spotted it. Um, but Blue is looking to walk forward through choke. Here comes this Uber. Fuzzy gets two shot by Mango, so big play from him. Hal gets a pick as well. This is a really good Uber, although although Holiday will sneak out 95%. Actually, where is Holiday? They're separated. Leaving for um, Valley. Oh, Spunky denies Hal the chase, and Lear's going to have to back up. Only 60 health on Holiday, so they'll have to back up, regroup with their respawners. Um, this should be a free tick of two. We'll see if Red comes out to uh, contest, but... Hal giving that, giving that guy props, best bodyguard ever. Yeah, Spunky's on Engineer, so maybe they're going to sit? Or they're just going to keep the NG on last? Yeah, they're, they're walking their heels out the right lobby. STV's lagging a tiny bit for me, or maybe I'm lagging. Um, they're, they're geared up in lobby. They're getting ready to go. There are stickies around that corner, David. You don't want to die to that. We'll see if my... Uh, someone's going to walk into those stickies, but we'll see if my guy's right... They're holding too close right now, basically, so... 
It's it's big dick energy, Jag. They're eighty percent. They're like, yeah, we're not. We're gonna kite this. It's Uber. Uh, big dick uh, ignorance. <laughs> Sometimes it works out yeah. great. <laughs> but look at that, ninety percent. They just stood there. They held their ground. No fear. That's what we like to see in the the new generation of TF2 players here. Don't want to peek shutters with the sniper. Oh, Hal's gonna get this pick on this soldier. Easy three rockets. Jackman down. And that was the that was the uh, that was the shotgun guy. That was the pocket. So. Uh, Oh, I was about to say, I noticed that Houdini took 100 damage earlier, and they have popped really early. Their Uber is basically going to get the gun and nothing else. Hal's going to go in and salvage. The animal goes down. He's trying to get on top. Oh, look at this. The blue them. collapse. There's only two players alive. It's just these guys in a respawning they heavy, need to though. Scatter. They need the to heavy's scatter. coming oh, in. No, the no, heavy's no. here. How many kills? One, two. Actually, Hal cleans them up. There's still a chance to win this. In the t oh, wow. good job, C SPAN. They're on the board. We got a game, ladies and gentlemen. Two to one. Oh my gosh. It's just like a never-ending, tumbling disaster of, of things going wrong. And <laughs> eventually something works out right. <laughs> All right, I've updated the scoreboard. We took a look at a blue soldier. I'm going to go find a red soldier this time. Uh, Lear has messed up his rollout, unfortunately. But let's see. Where is the other soldier? Oh, wait. Okay. They both did the pocket rollout? Or they, they must have messed that up somehow. In any case, oh my god, that blue scout's just in. Uh, didn't really do much damage, didn't take a lot of damage. Here comes the follow-up scout, Jackman cleans them up. Florida Man walks across the point, gets a pi uh, pipe kill. And look at this, Red is stuck in their choke and they're just out. Hmm. Well, that's that's really not what Chainsaw is supposed to do. Oh no! Oh my gosh, Harley almost died. Yeah, that's not really Chainsaw's job, he's the combo scout, but um, he made so much noise that uh, I guess the Red Team just all got stalled out because of it. Yeah, I mean, he just kind of pushed forward, scared them a little, let Florida Man walk forward behind him, and then uh, they were able to capitalize off the damage. Here comes David the Red going in for a force play. Hits 143 damage. Beautiful milk from Houdini. Staying alive, keeping that uber charge. Should go grab a pack or something. At least the pill bottle. Okay, get, electing to go cafe, grab the pack. Valiant effort from David, but that sack will not result in the force that he wanted. So we're going to see what Blue Team does from here, because... Like I said, it's normally not textbook play yet. Like, they don't know how to mm -hmm. lock down these chokes properly. Oh, they know how to double bomb a demo and choke, though, and well, they just pick them up. <laughs> well, you know what? What Exactly what I said, but from the other side. The other team didn't know what mm -hmm. they were doing, and they and were now, getting too, too And now, risky. here we have an uber trade. It was a solo on red, though, so they should have a better post. The Leers is going to jump on the point. Domination kill on David, and now he's going in behind. Uh, he should actually just get back in and try and help his team. Yep. Uh, actually, Red is scattered a lot. Um, electing to take this 1v1 with this soldier, not really hitting the rockets. Jackman's gonna clean him up with a little bit of an assist from height advantage. And looks like that will... Oh, Spunky gets a kill. Both soldiers down in blue, actually. Uh, he was actually super deep on the med. <gasps> oh, Jackman hit him with a 1-2. Shotgun down. Look, trying to bomb forward. Not the healthiest, though. But, look, the damage has been done. He's pushed them out of mid, and Red is going to retake here. Even Uber situation, basically. Um, but Blue is still technically down two, as one of them is a fresh respawn. I'd like to give a fun fact about Florida Man. Um, he's playing Demo and all his other classes on a 24-inch for 360 Holy uh, sensitivity. Jesus. All right. So he doesn't really miss, right? Mm -hmm. That's it's too, it's too much effort to miss. It's yeah. Too much effort. You don't go through all that effort to miss. I have, a, I have a really important question for you, Jaguar. Is that is Florida Man from Florida? No. no ah, my so, night uh, is ruined. I think it's. Uh, <laughs> oh gosh, I don't remember actually. This man's name. Oh, oh wait, 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 wait. We got a, oh, we got a trade. Is what we got. The scouts in. These red scouts have shown no fear. They're kind of like, oh no, David the Red used the distraction from his scouts. I was just gonna say that the the red scouts remind me of the blue soldiers. Kind of no fear, big dick get energy. They get the force off. Gets a pick. Chainsaw ninjas behind enemy lines. They're just gonna back cap. They give him the wrap. Two scouts on the point. Wow. They are up two players basically, and the red is che red team just ignored them or they ran away. I can't tell which side they're on. They, where are the red? Red is caught behind. Yeah, if blue just they're keeps behind. going, blue could just waltz on a second, and it looks like that's what we're trying to do. I'm sorry, I'm missing like everything right now, but you know how my camera work is. Hal is just fighting this scout. Where did his scout partners go? One of them died, but it looks like Hal's just gonna solo cap this by himself. And there's just chaos happening all around. Wow. Holiday died super late. This is a really good opportunity for them to even up the score now. That they're, uh... I can't say anything about your camera work. There's too much to see at yeah. once. <laughs> and they're actually everywhere. 
The disrespect rap play. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if it was disrespect. They just kind of walk forward. They say, hey, you know, this, this place is free. Oh, wait, how? Easy two rockets. Animal down. Yo, dry push? Dry, dry fight? Here we go. I think it'll be smart for them to get over, but we'll see. Uh, Hal's just peeking. Looks like they're just playing it safe. I, I, I can agree with either one of the options see, that they would have taken. See, Hal's a real final boss bucket. Like, you can't... You have to be way good at demo to just walk at him in these lobbies, and this animal guy has no respect, and mm. he's finding out that you don't. Maybe do that you to shouldn't Hal. do that. Yeah. All right, so we got full Uber. Here comes Hal. Oh no! Drop the scout. Not the greatest, and now there's a pyro with no scout here to deal with. This is a bad turn of events from Red. Hal's gonna jump in and meet the heavy, <laughs> and he just dies a very sad death. Florida man goes down. It's a collapse. Yeah. Red team has. Uh, they kind of. They kind of ruined their. Ruined anything Blue wanted to do as soon as that scout went down and they had the pyro top left, so. I got you, Fles. Thank you. Oh, Fles scores here. Everyone in stream wishing this man a happy birthday. Hello, yes, thank you. I, uh... We got the birthday stream. We got the double header. We got newcomers. We got. We got lots of good stuff going on today. We got two one action right now. Like, I, I was a little worried when, it, when said, they started off. Oh. I lost. And okay, well, he's dead. Not quite. I was just going to say, like, I was a little worried when Red got off to a kind of hot start 2-0, but this game has slowed down, and it's uh, really it's showing how close this really is now. Good defenses from Blue, big plays from the Red Scouts, uh, and now Red has Uber. They're going to try and walk forward through Choke, taking a lot of spam. Uh, they pick off Mango somewhere on the flank. Fuzzy is waiting to walk through Choke. Being a little indecisive, but again, it's not unnatural. Um, David goes down, Chainsaw gets revenge for his scout partner, and they've bought a lot of time. They're probably, yeah, it looks like they're going to give up mid, no, especially with Lear mid. goes down, uh, with Lear going down there, but they are going to get Uber, so they give up, give up, giving up a point for uh, making it even Ubers, not a bad trade in my book, although they are electing to walk back in, they weren't able to stop the cap. They luckily get the pop right off, but they drop the animal, does red. Can these red scouts do anything? No, it is Mango grabbing the picks. Hal is jumping forward. He's trying to shoot the med or the soldier. The scouts, they're on a tear. These blue scouts, they're, maybe they're waking up here, Jack. Oh, there's a back cap. No, Smokey oh. just back cap too. I didn't even realize. He's going to last Lear. through dungeon. It's a 1v1. Come on, does he know where he is? Oh, it's all up to Lear. God, he's oh, 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 big oh. rockets from Lear cleaning up that scout. No back cap for you, good sir. Like I said, don't, take don't a, sleep on the heavy classes. Take a shot at they home here. Power. And now, yeah, the red aggression is being punished. Animal, oh, never mind. Fuzzy comes in late. They still have to cap two, though. So Hal is playing the objective, solo capping again, this time his own second. Uh, and even, Ubers are exactly even here, so... We got four minutes left. Red might start doing things just because of their pick. They, nah, this demo just doesn't back out, respect though. anything. The animal, what? peeking choke. Not really, uh... Not able to get much here, just spamming pills, spamming Iron Bomber. Um, we should be seeing pretty much an even situation. There's the tiniest sliver of advantages for red. Are they going to do this? They're looking at it. Mm, nope, never mind. Or if they do go, it'll be too late now. They have like a 12% advantage. They're clear and sticky's a choke. If they know better, they will back up because this time it's taken too long. The animal's way too hurt. Oh, and he doesn't get the arrow in time. Ooh, Chainsaw. Chainsaw Ninja goes in and grabs the kill. And then Hal walks forward and gets the force off. This is a really good milking opportunity here. As long as you don't drop, pop it, don't drop it, as Sea Bear and DJC used to say. The scout's going behind again. Hal's looking at both these scouts, hopefully ordering his team back in here. Oh, but then he just There's gets flanked. The oh, triple no. back cap. Uh oh. Oh, this, this is a lot for Lair. This, this is, a lot is for gonna. Lair. He's gonna have to hit some magical shit here. But there is a heavy. Can the heavy salvage it? Oh, the soldier was taunting, but not enough. David saying GG when it is in fact GH here. Good half. 3-1 for a uh, Verve. And I'll be right back. Let me update the scoreboard here. I'm not sure about you guys, but I've been on the Florida Man cam this entire time. Dude, Jag, I'm so disappointed. Florida Man's not really from Florida. 
Like, what is the it, point of life? Wait, wait. I, I wait, hate it. I fuck? hate this. I hate this. What the fuck? I I've been know. lied to. I us. know, right? I'm low key just kind of ashamed for this man. Look, I showed up late because I was busy taking tequila shots with my brother. Hell yeah, uh, that's that's. I like tequila. I'm a I'm a big fan. You know, it. I feel all warm inside, so. That's good. That means it's running through your system. All right. So, as far as the analytics go, we got a three-one half. Pretty like again, it started off two-zero, and it was looking a little scary for Blue, but they pulled it together, or they pulled it back, brought it back, tie, uh, got around on the board, and then this last round, if you want to call a back cap a fluke, they kind of just got triple back cap or three players on the back cap, and uh, they lost the half because of that. But uh, it's not, and the game's not over. We still got another half to play, so anything is possible. Um, yeah, it definitely the, seemed the, to be that, uh, you know, C-SPAN wasn't ready for having about, let's just say, fucking half the team back cap, so... Mm -hmm. Kind of tough to uh, predict that play. Alright, I'll, I'll open up the logs on my phone, see if I find anything. Uh, I'm going to predict that the, uh, the demo men are kind of doing things. Florida man had crazy... Like last holds, the animal was just walking forward, disrespecting players, sometimes much to his dismay. Um, we're going to take a look at the stats here as we're waiting for this halftime to get going. It is about 10-16 right now, so even if this takes the full 30 minutes, as long as they start soon, shouldn't have any overrun with uh, the Rodney and the Standers game. Six tequila shots? Mmm, very nice. Alright, yeah. let's, let's see. Wait, was the animal on The Come last season? <laughs> on The Come? There was a team called just The Come in all caps last <laughs> season. Cause they, and he had it on his logs.tf shit. God damn it. <laughs> alright, um, right, I'm trying to load the stats. It's taking a long ass time. Not sure why. But they're all red has readied up. They're, they're riding that momentum off that back cap. Blue is sorting it out. Oh, I know why Jag has to be right back. He's going to talk to his boys. Give him the, uh, give him the pep talk. Mid-set coaching in my fucking TF2? I don't, th I don't think, I don't think so. that's banned. This ain't melee, bro. I don't give a fuck. All right, this so stats, stats, stats. Florida man, to uh, actually Hal top damage in the server. 340 DPM. Just Holy popping hell. off four air shots. This man cannot be stopped. Um, He's so good. He's just... The damage from both demos is very comparable. 300 for Florida Man, 280 for the animal, but surprisingly the animal... Well, actually, no, I'm, I was going to say surprisingly he's 11 and 17, but he was just being super greedy with his peaks and just getting caught out for it. Um, Florida Man is 22 and 11, so he's top point, top fragging in the server right now. Um, medic deaths, 9 for uh, Red Medic, 10 for Blue, so pretty even. Um, there was the two drops from Houdini, so that's... That's where any disparity from the meds come from. Um, and yeah, not much else to say. The scouts doing their thing. Fuzzy, 16 and 8, staying alive. Doing significant, uh, you know, respectable 200 DPM. Um, yeah, all the scouts in the game, pretty much, pretty much even. Like, the score is a little, uh, what's the word? It, it doesn't really tell the whole story, because it's definitely much, much closer. Um, it's misleading. Yes, that's the word I was looking for. Misleading. So. We're going to see... Uh, we're going to see this second half very shortly, once, uh, once Jag returns. But, yeah, I think that... Um, it's again it's definitely not out of the realm of the possibility for blue to bring this back again we could have very easily been staring at a two one half because time was running out at the end there in that first half and then just the back cap from red where they were uh just too quick caught caught blue off guard and there was only a soldier and a, a respawning heavy to try and deal with the three players stacking the cap so i'm back how I was uh Oh, coaching. just, you know, just a little, yeah, just a little half-time uh, <laughs> half coaching. I was just saying to the stream that, like, realistically, this could have very easily been a 2-1 half, if not for the back cap, you know, that there was not yeah. much time left, and they probably would have stalled out. So, Blue is by no means out of this game. They've been trading mids. Um, I was just saying, like, Florida Man is owning, Hal is owning, um, and, like, the meds and the scouts, at least on the stats, at least on the paper, are very, very comparable. So... Again, I s could still be anybody's game. Just gonna see who's gonna make the 
the right halftime adjustments. Um, and uh, who's going to try and walk away with his W? But yeah, dude, Hal has 340 DPM. That man is popping off. Yeah, yeah. Like, he, he's very confident. He'll peak choke, so, she, you know, he shoots good rockets, for sure. Absolutely. Florida as well. Like, you know, if, if the pipes come out, the pipes are going to be getting hit, basically. Yeah, I was, like, I was, I was saying that, uh, like, both the demos have... Their their damage and or their damage differential in per minute is only twenty, but uh, mm. Florida man's like has a two KD ratio, while the animal has just been dying a lot because we both saw him peak many many times and get caught out by Hal a lot of the cases. Super aggressive, yeah. Mm. So I will say this: a lot of Florida's, you know, frags they come from like him being in situations that maybe he ideally shouldn't be, and then he defends himself like. The other teams are not prepared for how many pipes this guy is going to hit. Like, how well this demo can defend himself. So, you know what I mean? Like, it's ideally he'd want to be, for the fight to be going better, and he's hanging out in a safe place, helping people from a distance. But, yeah. Jackman not, not letting really. us all know, as it currently stands, he is swag. Let's go. Let's see if that's a, a momentum shifter. Will Blue fear the swag? Should be going he live does. shortly, hopefully. He does have uh, 19 ping, so... That's what we like yeah. to see. That's like almost Chicago. Almost. Maybe like... Actually, I noticed Florida Man is in fact playing with 70 ping. Highest in the... Uh, no, not highest in the server. Spunky has 90, but he plays Scout, so... Scout on 90 is uh, definitely not as unfortunate as Demo on 70. But... He's... Doesn't matter. Ping does not matter to Florida Man. I will forgive the fact that he's not from Florida for him popping off and doing a lot of damage, getting a lot of sick pipe and trap kills to keep his team in the game. But, uh, you know, we just got the old, the old halftime. Uh, so I, I have an in some info here. Florida Man is, I do believe, from Massachusetts. Bruh, that's like what not even close to Florida. <laughs> you know, uh, halfway... That'd be like me, also from Massachusetts, calling myself Ohio Man. It just doesn't work, my dude. <laughs> Yeah, but Ohio Man isn't really an established... I know he's not uh, a legend. Mean, yeah, right? he's yeah, not yeah. a legend like Florida <laughs> Man, but... I am South Cal but go. You know what? We're going live, so we're going to put on the blue players. I want to... I, I mean, I just got the man of the half, Hal. I just got to find his can and watch him go to work. You know, I'm a big uh, Florida Man dick rider, so I'm just going to stay on his cam. Damn. All right, so Hal with the golden rocket launcher. The golden man is Early bombing speaking. through choke. From Florida, man. Yeah, he's Hal's taking Bell Tower, landing right on top of this demo. Oh, the second rocket was so close to killing him, but he actually just gets caught out by the animal. The blue health is not looking good. Actually, red health isn't that much better, but Florida Man has already retreated to the confines of his valley. Although his team is winning the fight in spite of him running away, and his medic actually, so this red, the blue scouts, I'm sorry, making things happen right now. Oh no. But then the crazy scrappy fight, oh, the, the red scouts, they come in, they grab like three or four, I think, and that's going to win themselves the mid. Holiday stayed alive, 70%. This is, this is, the, um, this is the crucial round here because, again, 3-2 is a game. 4-1 is really, really tough to come back from because in America, we played a five. Yeah, so the, the Red Scout's showing uh, to be a little bit tougher than the Blue. And this is, I feel, part of the reason why things are slowly unfolding badly. Well, I mean, I, I guess I I guess I agree, but it's it's not like that the Blue Scouts have been, like, lacking in terms of their impact. It's just that, like, right now, like, the Red Scouts were staying alive. And like, they were also, to note, they were also playing with their beam that whole time that mid, whereas the Blue yeah. Medic was in Valley. Anyway, here comes this Uber, though. This gun has denied a lot of work. Um, finally going down. The NG's gonna get caught out, but, I mean, you're good with that. The Heavy, it actually falls suit. And Blue Red's just gonna crash the point. And that's gonna be 4-1 in favor of Verve. Yeah, Mango building his gun on the point ruined all of the uh, the traps that Florida put on there. Since all the spam, uh, the yeah, and it, all the spam so. just distracted. So, Ooh. all right, we are sitting at match point here for Verve, up four to one. Jackman rolling out with twenty four HP, but 
He actually doesn't have crit heals either, so he's not the healthiest he could be. He actually jumps before getting the full buff. This could be a good opportunity for Blue, and they start it off right away. Hal opening things up, making up for it, oh, and Florida, Florida, man, Florida, Florida Man. Man. Florida Man kills the animal. This Blue Soldier is living for so long. But Red is stuck. Now Red is the one stuck in Alley. Will these Red players walk in? I don't think so. They're just going to turn tail. They're going to set up on two. And uh, good, good mid here from Blue. Like... Maybe it's just the curse of the curse of the camera, dude. You look at one side and the other side wins. So we got even Ubers, basically. Lear's in. Lear's in. Oh, and he, Lear I just got there just too late, like two, three frames too late. Big play from Lear, urging his team. Uh oh. Florida man. Is he caught out? He's Jackman is seven health. If any scout just peeks forward, the health on red is actually so Here's bad. The Uber. Oh, they use, but you know what? That's a good Uber. You grab two picks. Jackman's out of the fight. They could keep rolling. There's a back cap. There's a back cap on. And the... David's behind in Valley. Oh, okay. Fuzzy is unable to stop it, but it's fine. David, yep, David. I'm going to keep my eye on David. He's taunting, looking for <laughs> info. Classic. Is he going to double back cap? No. But Blue's going to last. I feel like he should help his... I can't, I don't know who to watch. The red heavy's out on the field, and oh no. That's gonna, a late heavy, so it's a yeah. little the, the the dominoes fall here for uh, for blue. They weren't able to get on the cap in time. Chainsaw Ninja's running. He's gonna shoot the soldier in the back. This soldier has no idea what's about to hit nice. him. Two shot. Now he's fighting the scout. Uh, he's trying to fight the scout. He could totally win this. It's really close. Both players a little bit of biffs and they just run away. At least. At least uh, no one died there. Blue should fight. Blue should fight. Right oh, now. absolutely. Especially since they just got an orb hit on the demo, man. Blue uh, is blue not is fighting. Not fighting. <laughs> Red is going to retake. Ooh. They lose Fuzzy somewhere. Elsewhere on the map. And, um... Yeah. Hmm. Looks like things are going to settle down for now. Actually, no. They shouldn't settle because Red has full uber advantage. Or 50% advantage. Uh, and... Houdini's already hurt. Double soldier aggression from blue trying to spam and delay their delay their uh, aggression. Close. Yeah, if red walks if red forward, this could be doing. really bad. But they're just sitting at choke, being really, really being really, really patient or slow, whichever one you want to call it. Houdini at 70% already. The blue health is blue health on their scouts is so bad. They had like 50 you health between two of them. But you want to know my prediction? Red forgot that they had advantage. Maybe it, it looks like that is the, in fact the case because they had their window. Um, and if when they saw blue peeking so far forward by cafe, they absolutely could have done something, um, but they chose not to. So probably just forgot about the Uber. Animals waiting for ammo. I'm gonna find one of the flank players. David Redface is sitting by cafe. Chainsaw Ninja goes down. This is David's chance. He has a clean bomb, but they're really far back. Is blue? He might get the demo. No, the demo's pretty healthy. He's actually pretty healthy though, and he's actually just made space. Look at blue just taking a really long time dealing with the animal. You trade three for a demo, man. Can't say you're going to come out on top of that uh, exchange. They'd, no Ubers were forced during the retake of that second. Um, yeah, Chain's favorite pastime is uh, peeking chokes during uh, spam exchanges. So, Oh my god, is that Xanda? It's Xanda? <laughs> yeah, it's all theory <laughs> called out. Or theory. Uh, <laughs> we got even Ubers though, so... Is that Xanda? I mean, seriously. You just described him in one word, or one phrase, in any event. Does, uh, does Chain know between left or right? Uh, hopefully he does. Is Chainsaw Canadian? There's the other question. Oh, here comes this red Uber. Oh, they drop Hal. Denver. Oh, no. Bad decision from That's Houdini. Basically Canadian. Dropping their best player. But no, the blue heavy. You know what? Never mind. Maybe Chainsaw Heavy's the beast. Oh, beast. He's getting two frags. Uh, David Redface. He fuck? get three kills on heavy. He might get four. Yes, give him four. The domination kill. Chainsaw Another Ninja. <laughs> Dude, I'm telling you, if Heavy and Demo, did, or if the Heavy didn't exist, I feel like Red would have won this game already. But, as it stands, great stuff from Chainsaw. Chainsaw Heavy, I almost called him. Chainsaw Ninja. Maybe you should change his name. <laughs> we got Pudis Gaming. Pudis Gaming. That's, that's coming up next, dude. Pudis Von Epic versus Rodney and the Standers. Coming in the next Look 30 minutes. Look at this Red minutes. Demo. He doesn't give a shit. He's just in. He has a big and look, cock, and here dude. Comes what chain. is he going to do? Chainsaw well, just peeks the choke. Gonna peak the choke. Yeah. He has to. 
Oh, and then Florida man goes down too. That's not good. This is over. They're running away. And not before losing at least another one or two guys. Yeah, they should be trying to get out here. The blue soldiers and their medic running away. They're staring at they're staring at 40 disad basically, 35. I'm expecting Chainsaw Heavy to... Yes, he's on Heavy. I'm just going to find his cam, at, dude. I'm looking at the scoreboard, and look at Spunky just crushing it on Scout. Oh, my Scout God. Yeah he, yeah, he woke up, dude. Chain is he also pop, on top, popping off. but a lot of Chain's work is on Heavy, heavy defending last. So that's a big difference, though. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, like I said, at the half, both Scouts are... Like, all the Scouts in the server were comparable, um, but now, clearly, Spunky is leading the charge. Uh, Chainsaw is really hurt. Are they going to... Yeah, they gave up their ad again. They had 35 ads, so maybe they forgot about it. Or, again, just maybe electing to play it a little safe. They are up 4-1. You know, not to peek into the mind of a, a, a newcomer team, but you do have 20 minutes to work with in order to get this round. You're not in any rush. You don't have to, you know, overextend or overaggress, but it looks like they're going to take an Uber. As I say that, they walk in deep. This heavy's probably going to get the Uber. Uh, actually, no, they don't even need to. Look at this man. He's 340. The animal's trying to kill him. Oh, Chainsaw kind of forgetting he's there. Oh, don't get hand! Okay. All right, the animal trying to get the disrespect melee kill. Spy Chainsaw Ninja having none of that. And we have a spy Spunky on up. the field. He, um... Oh last boy. time on spy, he didn't really do anything, right? But now with three players down, this this could be the final nail in the coffin here for C-SPAN. Here comes a dry push. Spunky is just... He should just decloak right now. Just distract the hell out of the enemy gamers. Pistol. And, yep, that's going to be five down. And Verve are going to take this match 5-1. to one. I mean, they just... I mean, I just got to say it. Spunky just woke up. He popped off. Maybe I won't say he woke up. He popped off in the second half and just did a ton of work for his team. And uh, I think they're figuring out how to stop Yeah, the Yeah, I was going to say. Their stats must be preserved. No, they they all said GG, so they they knew the game was over. Um, even despite they them know, rolling out. They don't necessarily know how to end the game. <laughs> uh, how, no, how knows? How that, knows? You know, how he's, he's, knows? He's a smart player, you know. Hit F9 says Houdini. Uh, that's the thing I gave him. F8 starts the demo recording. F9 stops it. So. Ah. Or right. he could just get T Rex, but we have it manual, so. Well, that's going to be the end of that. So, the, again, that was Verve taking the 5-1 victory over C-SPAN. I mean, again, as far as the first half goes, the 3-1 half doesn't really, is misleading because that game was super close, uh, especially in the the, like the last the second half of the first half up until the back cap was really what, quote-unquote, ruined the close game. Um, Verve. I think they're actually ruining the stats right now because they're still playing. And <laughs> yeah, that's true. Like, empty win limit zero is not what makes it stop. That just makes it go forever. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Infinity. Infinity is not, yeah, it's not the end. Right now it seems to be that Verb is trying to go for, you know, their yeah, They're going for the here. disrespect. They're going the for the... Lap. They're going for the eight... Uh, never mind. They can't there go for the eight go. one. <laughs> so, good, good showing... I mean, good showing from both teams. Like I said, that first half was very, very close. Very, very good. Um, just a couple of mistakes from Red, and then again, I just can't say it enough. Spunky just really started going to town in the second half and just absolutely shredded through the blue players. And, uh, I'd like to say my vague prediction was correct, um, except it wasn't, not on the numbers. Yeah, your score was inc incorrect, but your intuition was. Um, yeah, and so, so I'll, be, I'll be honest, Chain and Mango played some of the better games I've ever seen uh, compared to some of the prior ones, they really had their sh uh, standout moments, not even counting the heavy play. Right. But yeah. look at look at the scoreboard right now with Spunky and Fuzzy. I know, the yeah. Are. They, they were owning it most of the game, so that's the decider. Well, you know what? You saw improvement in these guys, and that's really what's the most important thing here. Um, you only got eight matches in the season, so you're, you're trying to learn as much as you possibly can. It's all about that information retention. And uh, who knows? Maybe I'll if if the you know if the future wills it, if the future gives me an opportunity, I'll be. Maybe there's a the run back, and we'll see what happens later on in the season. Um, hard to say. You said there were like thirty something teams in newcomer, right? So yeah, like, like thirty five or something. Yeah. So since you only play eight games, like you're gonna you're gonna run into like a team that has like a five and three record in playoffs, maybe even four and four. So you never know. You never know. But. Mm -hmm. That's going to be the end of that. It's 10.30, so we got about 30 minutes before the next game. I don't know what I'll do for now. Mm. 
Well, Terry, thanks for having me. Um, if you do know that my team's going to play and you want to uh, cover them, do let me know. I would love to uh, show up again. Yes, absolutely. Thank them. you so much, Jaguar Fiend, for gracing us with your presence and giving us the insight, insider knowledge on your squad here. And I wish you and them the best of luck with the remainder of their season. And I'll definitely let you know if uh, I'm going to cover some more C-SPAN action in the near future. But as far as the YouTube goes, I'm going to cut it here as I snap my fingers for some reason. And... Uh, I'll, I guess when I clip it for Twitch or for YouTube, I will stop it there, but I'll keep the stream running for now as I figure out what I'm going to do for 30 minutes, maybe just jump or something. Thanks, Derek. See ya. See you later, dude.